Here's a few more key points about the connection point for the tripod shelter. You need to at least notch one of the A-frames at the end where the overlap is so the other A-frame pole will just sit in nicely to prevent slippage. And then you can notch your ridge pole towards the end. That's going to sit down pretty much just like this. You've got your ridge pole sitting notched into one of the A-frame poles. So those notches on one A-frame pole, the ridge pole, gives you nice connection like that. You need cordage at least around the A-frame, not necessarily around the ridge pole. That's especially if your ridge pole is a thicker, heavier, longer pole. And that's the idea of having the ridge pole to be like that, because the weight coming down is going to give you that support. Half your support is just the sheer weight coming down, and especially the angle of the A-frame. The angle from vertical doesn't need to be much at all. It obviously can't be vertical, but 5, 10 degrees, I haven't quantified the angle exactly, but you can check the videos I have online. There's not much of an angle there at all. And then the size, as I talked about, the A-frame poles to be 2 to 3 inches. You know, around 2 inches is fine. Could be a bit less, 1.5, could be a bit more than 2 inches, but 3 inch max, but around 2 inches. And the ridge pole, I said 3 to 4 inches, around 3 inches. You may, especially for a long ridge pole over 10 feet long, like trees grow, will be thick at one end and thinner at the other end. If your ridge pole goes from 3 inches down to 2 inches, that's fine. Could be a bit more, could be a bit less. So they're the sort of dimensions you're looking at, especially to get that weight to come down. And you have holes in the ground for the A-frame again. Get that support, shallow holes, bang, you're going to prevent slippage and so forth. And you don't need to necessarily supersize. All the dimensions I give is to my supersize concept. If you don't have the time or the resources or even the tools to go fashioning poles and cutting notches and so forth, you need to work with whatever resources you can find, sticks and so forth. Maybe your poles and sticks and ridge poles can be smaller and so forth. You can make a smaller shelter, a lower shelter at that point than, than the dimensions that I specify, especially in an emergency. A good shelter in an emergency is one you just need to crawl into with enough room to crawl into and sleep. It doesn't have to be a king-size shelter. So if you don't have those resources, it's just that my super-sized concept will give you the best shelter if you have the time and that big tool like a machete or something to fashion poles and notches and so forth. And just to repeat that critical point about the ridge pole being a thicker, heavier piece, half your weight and support will be the weight of the ridge pole coming down, especially if it's long. That's going to be most of your strength right there, and you may not need to even put a notch in the ridge pole. It doesn't have to be um, larger, but it should be a bit larger and thicker than your A-frame. A 2-inch a A-frame can support a thick log up there. And don't forget that that thick piece is going to be your strength and support. So around 3 inches, but 3 to 4 inches, um, it can vary. But thicker and heavier, that's going to be most of your strength. And then your angle doesn't need to be big because if you, if you have plenty of weight coming down on the A-frame, you don't need much of an angle from vertical there at all. So that's the critical point. So there's your strength right there from a thicker, heavier ridge pole. So there are just a few more points for the tripod and the tripod connection.